You want to be in the shot, huh? You want to be famous? You want to be famous? Ow! All right, YouTube, hello, I'm back. I hate saying that, but it has been a month, so, you know, it's Christmas now. <laughs> so, as you can tell from the title, uh, I got a puppy. So, I'm gonna show you her, and talk about her a little bit, and just update you guys on this, on this incredible addition to my family. And yes, that's a ladder. It has nothing to do with Christmas. I guess Santa, no, 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 that's a chimney. Nope, never mind. So, you two, this, <laughs> <laughs> this is mozzarella. Can you say hi? Can you say hi to mozz? Can you say hi? Hmm? I know, I know. So mozzarella is a 12, almost 12 week old female French Bulldog. I figured out a few months ago that this is the breed that I really wanted. I got her as a little puppy. And a lot of people have been asking why I named her mozzarella. The truth is, um, it's in an episode of Friends and Joey <laughs> borrows a dog for a second and names her mozzarella and I thought that was really funny. Who is this? Oh, that's, uh, that's Phoebe's friend's dog. Yeah, I, I don't know what his real name is, but I call him mozzarella. Oh. Editing this video right now, I'm gonna use this really quick clip to show you. Uh, I don't own the rights to this, don't sue me, don't take the video down, okay. So I told myself a decade ago if I ever got a dog, naming a mozzarella. Naming her mozzarella. She's very wrinkly, very young. She's still in the little puppy phase, so she's like biting everything and knocking things over. As you can see, I have a Christmas tree behind me, but I had to put a barrier <laughs> around it uh, so she didn't knock it over and bite. The first time I put the tree up, uh, she bit one of the bulbs and it broke. I'm a new dog owner, but that's probably not good for a dog to be eating glass. Disclaimer, she did not eat any of it. I got it out, don't report. Anyway, um, this is mozzarella. So I'll get some footage of, you know, who knows where this vlog goes. So I live uh, in Oregon to go get her. She was in Sacramento, California. The breeder met me in Redding, California, which is about seven hours away. And so my girlfriend and I drove, we left at 6 a.m. and got home with mozzarella at midnight. So it was about 18 hours of driving. Um, I do have the Tesla, so I had to, you know, charge and all of that, but it was a long day, but very worth it, huh? Huh? All you can think about is food, huh? Okay, actually, let's go feed you. It's time to eat, right? So one of the things with French Bulldogs is that they eat everything quickly. They like just scarf everything. So I got her this bowl, um, and it's basically supposed to just slow her down a little bit by separating it. So what I've been feeding her is what the breeder told me to feed her is this Royal K9 and the four French Bulldogs, okay? And then a mix of that with the Royal K9 starter uh, wet food, okay? So let's do that and then I'll show you how she eats because it's insane. Okay, so that is uh, how I put it in the bowl. But then one of the tricks that I learned um, is that the, whoa, I'm not in the camera shot. Uh, one of the tricks that I learned about the hard food is that sometimes it's actually too hard for her to chew. And so I douse it a little bit with a few drops of water to make it a little softer. Okay, so this is her food. And again, this is the wet food. And then the dry, as you can see, I added a little water um, just to make, to soften it a little bit. Oh, I know. I know you know what time it is, I know. Are you ready? You ready? Down. Good girl, good girl, you ready? Okay. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl, how do you feel? Huh? You full? That's not a good shot. Okay, so she just ate. Um, one of the really cool things actually for me that was really helpful was um, the breeder actually had her peeing on pee pad um, before I got her. She's already used to these, uh, which is really, really nice. And I would say like 75, 80% of the time she uses the pad, which is really nice. And then sometimes she uh, tears it apart 
eats the paper. Hey, get out of there. Come on. So one of the coolest things is that she has learned, she's very smart, so she's learned fetch already. Ready? Go. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back, come on. Come on. Good girl. I've been um, trying to train her. So I got all these little treats. Um, they're like, uh, I'm almost out of them. But um, they're little like organic training treats. So what I've been doing is been trying to do like the normal sit down. That's pretty much it so far. <laughs> she's like, she's still a little baby. But let me see if I can get that. Ready? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. First take. Sit. Sit. Down. Nope, that's okay. Ready? Sit. Down. Good girl. Yeah. So smart. One of the funniest things is normally I keep my house pretty clean and now it is just dog toys everywhere. And some stairs that we got her. So she can get up on the couch. Oh, I am not even close to being in that shot. It's a little puppy, huh? You're just a little puppy, huh? I know, I know, my face smells like Chinese food. It's not racist, it's because I just ate some. It doesn't always smell like that. She's very cuddly though, and I like that. I like that, huh, Mozzie? Huh, Mozzie? I know. You wanna be in the shot, huh? You wanna be famous? You wanna be famous? Ow! One of the crazy things about her is that, like, you know, she's still a little baby puppy, and so her, she's definitely teething, her, her uh, teeth are super sharp and she's biting everything. I already have some furniture that's, <laughs> that's missing a little chunk. It's a good nickname for her, a little chunk. Uh, doorway, so she's chewing on a lot of stuff, which is okay, but she has to know, especially people's hands and, and feet and stuff, that it's that that's not okay. So we're working on training stuff. I know, look, you're so tough. You're so tough. You're such a tough little girl. Oh, I actually just got a little crate for her. Which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of torn on because I'm more into the like positive reinforcement. Like if she does something good, give her a treat kind of thing. Instead of like, oh, you did something bad, throw her in jail. I got that and I'm just leaving the door open. Um, she can go in it whenever she wants and just kind of learn that that's, that can be a safe place for her. How high can you get? Can you get that? Oh, good job. And she likes the squeaks. What's that? Crazy! You crazy! You crazy! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I know. One of the things that was really important to me is that the breeder was cool and like you could tell that she actually cared about the puppies instead of just making money and so I went through a few of them and a couple of them I didn't really like their vibe and then the last one that I found that I got uh, mozzarella from um, her name was Ashley in Sacramento and she had had a litter of eight puppies and so yes you have seven siblings um, and actually she kept one of them so I hope in the next year or so we'll have a little uh, reunion or something. But I really, really like the breeder. We still keep in touch. Um, I send her pictures and videos all of the time. She's given me a lot of advice. So shouts to you, Ashley. Thank you for thank you for being so kind and, and, and loving and taking care of her before I could get her and for keeping in touch. So um, that's been a really, really cool experience. I've never been in charge of another, uh, I almost said human life, in charge of another life. And that's been a really big life change um, especially like, you know, keeping up with vet appointments. She just had her last round of shots, um, you know, medication and stuff, which she's been really good about. I put her little chewable pill for fleas and stuff in her food and she ate it right up. But I think that's been one of the biggest changes is just being in charge of something else. So if I'm like, okay, I gotta go to the store, you know, I gotta pack up her, <laughs> her bed and some toys and water and all this stuff into the car. And she does really, really good in the car too. So that's awesome. Maz, can you show your face? Like, what is this? What are we doing here? I really love, uh, one, you probably can't see right now, but her eyes are like marble. And so they're like kind of bluish in certain lights and they look like a marble, which is super, super rare with French Bulldogs. One of her ears is floppy. Her left ear like is down instead of up. So anybody out there who's, I know I'll probably get a lot of views on this from people who are thinking about getting a puppy or a French Bulldog and stuff. Just try to remember that, you know, they're babies. They don't know any better. So they have to be trained and they have to be, positively trained in order to really remember it, especially because they love food so much. 
And as you can probably imagine, I went all out getting her stuff. Uh, I got her a little blinged out, little blinged out uh, collar. And again, won't focus, but it says Mozzie, I promise. This is my favorite thing, even though I think she's probably outgrown it already, but I thought that was really funny. We also made, nope. We also made stockings. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, come here. Oh, you little Christmas hat. We gotta do a little sign off for the video, okay? So, this is little baby mozzarella. And I just wanted you to meet her. Um, and to tell you guys also that she is on Instagram if you wanna follow her. It is at InstaMozzy. At I-N-S-T-A-M-O-Z-Z-I. -Z and I have no doubt that she'll probably surpass me in followers any moment, but ow. That's gonna do it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Say hello to little Mozzie if you want to. Comment any nicknames or actually, uh, if you have any tips or advice or anything too, that'd be cool. Yeah, this is my new puppy, Mozzarella. Little Mozzie, little Mozzarella, huh, huh. You're over it, huh, I know, okay. Let's end it then, sign off, do a sign off. Sign off. <laughs> All right, see you guys.